So we have a function f from the set of real numbers into the set of real numbers defined by f of x equals mx plus b. We're told m is not zero. And we have to prove that this function is a surjection. So first recall what it means for a function to be surjective. So f from capital X to capital Y. And here capital X has a name. It's called the domain. And capital Y is called the codomain. Is called surjective. So is surjective. If for every value in the codomains, for every little y and y, we can find some little x and capital X such that f takes little x and sends it to y. So let's go ahead and prove this and we'll use this definition really carefully. So to prove this function is a surjection, this will be a capital X and this will be capital Y. So we have to start by taking any value here in this set. So take any Y in capital R set of real numbers. And now we have to show that we can find an X value such that F of X is equal to Y. So let's go to the side and figure out what that X value is. So we want F of X to be equal to Y. So we want mx plus b to be equal to y. So we can solve this for x by subtracting b. So we want mx to be equal to y minus b. Then you just divide by m, and we can do that because m is not 0. Boom, there it is. That was the whole reason for having m not equal to 0. And that's going to be our value of capital X. So now we'll go back to the proof. So note, well, first we have to show there exists a number x in capital X. So we have to mention why this is a real number. Well, y is a real number. B is a real number. When we subtract them, we get a real number. When we divide by a non-zero number, it's still real. So this fraction is indeed a real number. And... So this part's done. Now we have to show this part. So we'll write down f of x. And now we're going to replace x with what it actually is. So y minus b over m. And now we're going to look to our function. So mx plus b. So m. And then x, well, this is our x. So y minus b over m. And then we still have the plus b. So plus b. The m's cancel, so we get y minus b plus b. b's go away, so we get y. So we started with a y in the codomain. We showed there existed an x in the domain such that f of x is equal to y. So this shows that f is surjective. Kind of a rushed example, but I didn't want to make this video uh, really, really long. I hope this helps.